Hello everybody! My name is Mel the Money Coach. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode on my channel called Mel the Money Coach. So we've done a comprehensive review of the Ramsey Baby Steps, how we can get those going, how a coach can help you because there's a million ways, let me tell you. Uh, we did a couple ba uh, Bring Home the Bacon segments. I hope you enjoyed my last one. I got some nice... Uh, prepared meals out of the deal for my stretch of night shift. So that was amazing. Um, so today we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite topic, clear as mud taxes. Now I am not a tax professional, but I follow closely kind of all the things that are going on with taxes. And so I know enough to tell you that things change all the time. So the deadline for tax filing has always been April 15th until last year and until this year turns out. So they moved the, <clears throat> the federal tax deadline to May 17th. So, you know, you have a little extra time. What I would strongly, strongly, strongly suggest is not to wait until May 16th and do it at the last second. This is not good. So from a budgeting perspective, just in case you should owe a bunch of money or some who knows what, you know, if something should happen and you owe more money than you expected or you, you know, have this bill, the IRS debt is one of the, the worst debts you could have. You know, when it comes to your debt snowball, um, if you have an IRS debt, you want to bump that to the top. Because you do not want that IRS coming after you. They can garnish your wages. They can do all sorts of things. So you need to be really, really careful and diligent about filing your taxes on time, paying the IRS if you should owe something. And, okay, so I digress. A tax refund is not a bonus. It is not extra money. It is not like, hey, I'm going to go on vacation. I got a tax refund. It's money that you loan to the government all year and didn't get paid for. So let's think about if we had invested that money or we had paid debt off with that money, how much further ahead we'd be. So we don't wanna loan the government money for free. No, it's not a thing. We don't wanna do that. We don't wanna do that. So you wanna come as close to possible to zero with your tax refund as possible because that means that you're paying just enough taxes in but you're not paying in too many and you're not paying in too few. So you don't want a huge bill due to the IRS at the end of the year and you don't want a huge refund. So you got to really, you know, um, work with a tax professional to get that, you know, really scaled down and uh, narrowed down to right in the middle to zero. Just like a zero based budget. You don't want to be way over and you don't want to be way under. So it's the same thing. So I will post a, an interesting article in uh, the show notes. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help you and um, I would love to coach with you and to help you on your journey towards financial freedom. So you can sign up for a free consultation and please subscribe to my YouTube. See you next time.